Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks in today's video about saving your defaults. And I know you're saying, Doug, you've showed us how to save your defaults many times, but I'm talking about how to save the workspace and all the defaults for future use. So you've got your all your icons, your pick tool, your two point line, combined group. I've got my uh, macro editor. I've got everything exactly the way I want it. I've added a few things this morning for somebody's video, but I'm just going to keep them up there. You know, I've got backup page that I use all the time. But I want to save it, so you go to tools and save as default, and it's done. But there's a better way to save it into a file where you can get it out later. Because if you lose it, there's a lot of work to be done to put this back. So go to tools left click on this go go to customize workspace export export workspace check off all the dockers all the menus and you know it's got a plus sign but it's going to check them all off so i'm checking off i'm doing all my toolbars i'm saving everything and i'm going to put save I've already got one there called my workspace. So I'm going to cancel out here. Okay. So we're, we've done it. We're, we've saved it. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you how to get that back because I want to uh, stop the video and actually do an F8 reboot and have none of that left. So stay tuned for the second video.